So in this video, we're gonna go over some root canal post-op instructions. Make sure not to smoke for an entire week. That can help interfere with the healing process of the root canal. Be careful not to spit or suck through a straw. That can promote bleeding. And also, don't rinse vigorously for the next 24 hours. Again, that can all affect the root canal. And if you're still numb with the anesthetic, be careful to not bite your cheek, your lip, your tongue, because when you're numb, you don't realize what you're biting and you can do more damage to yourself than what was actually happened when we did the root canal. Swelling can be normal with root canals. It doesn't always happen. A lot of people get root canals and don't swell, but some people can swell a lot. And so to control the discomfort and the swelling, make sure to be taking the pain medicine we recommended you. And also you can rinse with salt water and that will help a lot as well. Diet. To protect your tooth, especially before you get the crown on, you want to avoid anything really hard. You want to avoid anything really sticky. And you just want to avoid that tooth because most people only get one root canal in one area, so just eat on the other side. And oral hygiene. You want to always take good oral hygiene, especially once the crown comes on. You want to be flossing and brushing there. But before it comes on, even if you have the prep tooth, you want to, you know, make sure that area is clean. If you only have it for about 24 hours, you can kind of avoid that area. But if it's going to be a while before you get the crown, make sure you are brushing and flossing that area quite softly. Crown. Here at the Smile Mission, we often do a root canal followed by a buildup and a preparation of a crown all in the same visit. Whereas if you have a root canal done somewhere else, especially at a specialist, they'll only do the root canal and then you have to go to the general dentist to the buildup and preparation for the crown. But it's important to do a crown. Now, once in a great while, we won't recommend it, but for 90% of our cases, or probably 95% of the cases, we need to do a crown. See, what happens is, when you've done a root canal, you've taken away a decent amount of tooth structure, and now that tooth is quite brittle. And so a crown goes over the entire tooth and helps protect and helps prevent it, that tooth from fracturing, from breaking. So it's really, really important to do a crown after you do a root canal. And that's basically it for post-op instructions for a root canal. But like always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us by calling us, social media, or emailing us. And also check out our website, which we have a lot more details about root canal post-op instructions.